Well, hopefully this is the first part to a successful video. I'm standing out here at the farm waiting to meet my, my guy that runs his dozer. He's going to haul a few more rig mats for me, or those crane mats, timber mats, whatever you want to call them, crane mats. Um, if y'all recall, I used to have seven of them, eight of them, busted one, seven of them, and they're all in here somewhere. So this is where I planted the excavator on one of the last videos I put out uh, about working out here at the farm. That hole is what I was sitting in with the excavator. You can still kind of see there's where the, where the upper track was. The lower track was down here sunk, buried. So I had gum telemarketers. Um, so anyway, this is, I don't know what I was talking about now. I know, I know the mats are in here because this is where I was stuck. Um, I just got to find them back. <laughs> you can't see any of them. One of them, I think, is down here in the hole where I'd set it over here and then tried to set my bucket on it and shoved it down. But I know I'll be able to find them because I'll be able to just set my bucket down and just kind of poke around in the soil. And I'll, when I feel the hard spot, then I'll scrape the dirt off and, and pull them out. So I know I'll be able to get them back. But to get me back to this point, the ground out there, it's set up a lot, but it's still, when I drive out on it with the excavator, I leave big ruts. And so I'm getting four more mats just so I can safely work my way back out here and not be leaving ruts and possibly getting stuck out in there. Um, what's funny is how this clay holds moisture so much as see I'm down here where the excavator was sitting and then up here it's about a foot and a half higher it built up with with clay or with with mud soil whatever you want to call it clay and I've got a new little pond up here sitting up high so it it's funny in several instances and it's really useful information to see this because it shows you how well this clay holds moisture so I shouldn't have any problems as far as getting a good seal on the pond having a pond that'll hold water I mean that's pretty obvious right this is basically a pond you know it's my my clay pit right now it's basically a pond but uh anyway what we're going to be doing i'll get the mats and he's going to get a check today and then hopefully i'll get out here tomorrow afternoon and that the mats will already be here and uh, i'll get them offloaded and, and start working my way in but i want to show you all last time i was out here i didn't i didn't i couldn't walk out on this it was all too soft because it was freshly piled up so i'm able to walk out on it now um pretty well I mean, now me as a lightweight person, sure, I can just walk on it, no big deal, but I'm a lot closer to the tree line than I realized. So if you look right yonder is a purple T-post and right there is a purple T-post. That is my south property line. So I am maybe 40 foot, 30 foot. I'm pretty doggone close. Definitely, if I can, if I can get through this spot without causing too much problem and get my mats back, I'll certainly be able to get over to here, um, no problem. Hopefully Thursday afternoon, and then I'm going to be turning and going that way, get these trees out of the way, and headed headed west to where the pond's going to be. That would just that'd have me tickled if I could get that much done. All right, so we're back out here uh, today, Thursday afternoon, and I uh, just got out here about probably 30, 40 minutes ago. Got the water pump up and running and going, pumping out my pit here, trying to get it down so that it'll start draining everything out of back there. And I uh, managed to actually drive out the road all the way back over there to my pad now. It's pretty solid. You can see I left a little bit of ruts, but nothing like I was even a week ago. So all, you know, it's funny how just suddenly something about it improves. I'm really not sure what it what it took for it to decide to finally set up other than being hot and dry um, but drove out on it barely sank at all got out here far enough that I was able to actually reach my first mat found my first mat back but you can see I started sinking pretty deep right there this in here is still pretty gooey and this is this is basically fresh road that was built when um, when I got stuck and my dozer guy wasn't able to get out this far to to pack it so I don't know, maybe that's what caused the first part of the road to set up right, was having him pack it that first day, even though when he was packing it on the surface, it didn't look like anything was working, it didn't look like it was getting any better, um, but maybe that's what that's what did it here in the long run. So anyway, I'm a little bit hesitant to get back out there in it, considering right there is where I got stuck. So I'm waiting, I've got the mats on the way. He should be here hopefully any minute uh, with four more mats, so then I'll have at least five, and I'll be able to work my way back out there and hopefully start digging out the rest of them. So for now, I'm just kind of kind of piddling around moving some dirt from the edge of the driveway here and turning it back over here into the main of the road like I told y'all I was going to um, this road's like 30 foot wide right now I don't need that I need about you know 15 so I'm able to scrape a lot of this stuff off the the outside this excess 
I'm able to move it over and uh, build myself up higher and, and stronger. So I'm gonna keep working on that. Woo! Friday morning, and I tell you what, we are back in the saddle. I got my four masks delivered yesterday. Uh, worked my way in from the truck, just putting them down, just because that road it was solid yesterday when I started. And then as I got to working on it, it got a little gooey, but still better than it's ever been. So I know it's getting better and better. Mad him away all the way out here. Remember I had one that I found yesterday and was able to get. So got it, so I had five and started working in the hole. I've recovered, I believe three more out of the hole, three or four. And then I found this one, which I thought was lost and gone. I came over here to dig up some dirt, took some of this extra dirt off the side and was gonna run it out here to the end and start putting it in the hole where the excavator was stuck. And uh, lo and behold, I hit my mat. So I knew it was broken. See the bolt sticking out here. And I thought that I had just busted it completely away and I had just punched it in the mud and lost it. But actually, it's it's actually pretty solid. It's still got um, the two center bolts are still solid in it. So bingo, scored another map that way. So I, don't, I haven't even counted how many I've dug up here. I'll count them here in a minute, but I figured with, with all these new discoveries. Oh, and uh, here's the remains of one of my old truck mats. You know, those ones that I spent all that money on because um, I was told they would hold up to an excavator and then they all got busted by the excavators. So just found the bloody remains of one of those and I'll try to sort it out of all the mud so it's not a, you know, causing rock spots and holes in my road later. Um, but anyway, figured I'd take a quick break. I'm gonna go refill the pump because it's about tapped out, I think, and then I'm gonna go over here and move my lighter and try to light up another burn pile. Move it around back and try to light yesterday. I had it set yesterday and then it, it burned itself out somehow. I guess it just fuel shut off or something. So anyway, uh, making great progress this morning. So I'm excited. I'm gonna try to keep after it. I gotta tell you folks, Feeling pretty good. I'm on my last mat right here. I just found it back. I just walked around and counted a second ago, and I had 10 of a possible 12. And that counts that one that I found back that I thought was lost, that I thought I'd broken. Well, look at there, just like that. There's number 12 up out of the muck. So I have all my mats back, including the four that I just had to buy, which, you know, shame that I had to buy four more, but it'll help having them. It'll help a lot because I can, it's that much faster. You know, having these mats, being able to run back and forth on this mat road like this, and not have to, uh, not having to pick them up and put them down every time, being able to just, you know, take quite a little drive here and go around and get clay. Let me show you here once I get stopped. I'm driving with my hands, as you can see. See, all that right there I opened up just fresh this morning. So it was stuff that was up out of the water. Um, that was basically excessive road, and I scooped a lot of that up and moved it back behind me, back to where I'd gotten stuck to fill all that hole in. So being able to have these mats like this to run back and forth and actually have a, you know, a, a road to drive on so I can drive over, get a bucket, drive back, dump it. I'm not just limited to what I can reach from where I'm sitting. That really helps. So anyway, I'm gonna plop this mat down here on the end. These are the last two I just fished out. So like I said, I'm, I'm 12 for 12, which is awesome. Uh, got my money back, so to speak, and, uh, I'll run back out here to the other end where, where I'm building a new road and try to get all that, start getting it shaped up and get that water off of it and start building and making forward progress. Okay, so we are basically back out here at the end of the road, finally. And you can see what I'm up against. All that out there has got just shallow standing water on it. So the top eight inches or a foot is gonna be real gooey, nasty stuff. And that's the stuff that got me in trouble last time. I got me stuck. So what I'm doing is going through and shaving off that top foot and I'm just dumping it over here on the back side, or opposite side, whatever. But you can see the difference. See that there? That clay flows, literally flows like water, like a milkshake. It's nasty crap. It will not hold up to anything. This stuff over here is a little bit more solid, uh, but you can see that pile of goop on top of it. So what I'm trying to do is just get the real nasty crap off. I can work with a relatively wet clay, the mats will hold up on it, but that milkshake garbage, I'll, you know, the mats will just go down in it two, three foot deep, and then I'm in trouble. So, um, just want to show you all that. My goal today, you know, got to be patient, but I would love to get to this corner and actually turn the corner. That would just have me tickled. Um, but just got to take it slow and uh, be careful. So, what I'm going to do now is keep working my way across where I've been scraping here on the right. Just go all the way across there, scraping, and then come back over here and start digging better clay stacking ahead and advance my mats. So you can see now how I've come across to the, the full extent of my bucket, scraped all that top off, 
<clears throat> all that water has run in and I'm channeling it over here to get it to drop down into this first cut and then if it fills it up it's going to start running down deeper and make its way on all the way out to the front and get pumped out over the edge so um, see the clay right there where I just got last bite see how much redder it is it's a lot more solid so that's what I'm working on so once I shave off the top foot or so and get the goof out then I come back there and dig this dry stuff from underneath of it and I stack the dry stuff left to right so as I stack it I help push the water even more now saying that gooey stuff gets you in trouble it doesn't two ways first is that it's not going to hold up my mats and it'll just squeeze up through them and the mats will sink but the second is if I stack dry material on top of it like I was doing early on um, the dry stuff will punch down through it and that crap will still come up so it'll make your bottom your your base is really unstable so it's really important to get that wet crap out of your way um, you can't add you know you add dry clay to wet clay you get more wet clay so you got to get the wet clay out of the way as best you can and then start backfilling with dry